Hello and welcome to today's Delta Credit Tip. So you've got a judgment on your credit report or in your past, and now you're trying to move forward, buy a house, get a car, get a loan, just simply move on. What do you do? How do you handle it? Well, stay tuned. We'll fill you in on today's Delta Credit Tip. Hello and welcome back to today's Delta Credit Tip. So you're out trying to move forward on your life after a judgment has been filed and won against you. What do you do? You're online, you're trying to figure out what to do. You got all these credit repair companies saying never pay debt collectors, right? How do you really handle this? Well, the thing about a judgment is that a judgment is very, very different than say just some regular collection account that you may have on your credit report. Once it's gone through a court system, a lot of things change about that debt. So it's really something that you're gonna to wanna to resolve because as I'll, you'll find out in this video, deletion isn't gonna be the end all be all to these judgments. Hopefully you'll find this information helpful. If so, don't forget, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so that every Thursday as we come out with more information to help you in your credit restoration process, you get this information immediately and you can apply it to your plan right away. All right, so let's start talking about how are we going to manage this judgment? Well, the first thing you could always try to do is remove it from the credit report. And we always recommend that. And there's strategies that we give in other videos that tell you about how deleting it off the credit report can happen, but that's really not resolving the, the, the account. And the reason why you really gotta take a step forward with it is because there's more to it. Okay. First off, when it comes to a judgment, the statutes of limitations have changed. Now we've talked about statutes of limitations in our other videos as well. And you want to go back and kind of rehash uh, your memory on some of that. If you haven't seen it, if, you, if it's been a while, if you haven't seen it, go and, and watch it. But the thing about a judgment is that a judgment has an elongated statute of limitations. And again, the statute of limitations is different in each state, but here in the state of Florida, it's basically your debt for 20 years in two 10 year increments, right? So there really is no way out of that statute of limitations for a long, long, long time, leaving you really with only two options, either get that case dismissed, which means going back to court or resolving it. And the whole time that that thing is sitting on that credit report, it's also accruing interest. So you may have owed $4,000 five years ago, but now that $5,000 is doubled to 10 because time has gone by. So normally debt collectors are not allowed to charge interest on debt, but attorneys are exempt from that rule. And so you will find that you're accumulating uh, interest uh, as that debt ages because the statute of limitations simply uh, hasn't given up yet. Now, the other thing is, is that even if you decide not to pay them, doesn't mean that they're not gonna get their money. Once they have an active judgment against you, whether it's won by default because you didn't show up, or whether it's because they actually beat you in court, at that point, if you haven't paid them for an elongated period of time, well now that attorney can always go back to the court, motion the court, and say, hey, you know what, we're not getting our money, uh, even though this judgment is held against them, I want to start to garnish their wages, put a freeze on their checking account, all these things they can do once they've won that judgment. So even if you don't pay them, they can still get your money. So again, you know, you want to resolve the account. And let's say you do a fantastic job of disputing it. You do the whole LexisNexis thing. You know, they realize that your court doesn't report to the bureaus and you get it all deleted, right? Well, like I always tell my clients, just because we get something deleted from your credit report doesn't mean that you don't owe that money, okay? That just means that you got it deleted. And in the case of a judgment, Let's say you go to buy a home. Well, before you close on that home, the title company is going to do a search 
of public record to see if you have any existing judgments against you because those judgments, if you're not homestead in your home, can then turn into liens, right? And that could put that lender at risk. So even if you have something, uh, a judgment that's been deleted from your credit report, it can still prevent you from being able, uh, from being lendable with the bank. So deletion or not, you still have to resolve that account. Now, a lot of times, um, depending on what loan type you're using, you may not necessarily have to settle it in full, like a lump sum kind of thing. Sometimes with FHA specifically, uh, you can do a, a payment plan. Now, if you're going USDA or you're going VA, that payment plan option isn't one, right? You're gonna to have to actually have it settled in full uh, before you can move forward with the loan. So if you happen to have a judgment on your credit report or in your past, and you know that you're gonna be trying to buy a home, you're gonna definitely want to have some dialogue with that lender up front and say, hey, this is what I'm dealing with, this is what I got on there, you know, what options do I have in, in still being lendable, right? If you've got questions about it, that's what we're here for as well. Give us a call. Remember, with credit repair companies, you're really not supposed to pay anything up front, so we always give a free initial consult. So give us a call and let us help you out, and hopefully this will help you make a choice, make a change, Delta.